Hey guys. Yes, I'm not rushing to the bus station today. Um, I'm going for my job. <laughs> like my babysitting job today. I have another one to do today. I did one two days ago. So yeah, they called me today again for the babysitting job. <laughs> See how I'm chesting cold. It's cold though. But it's not very cold. It's like 7 degrees. I'm wearing my jacket though. Oh. Yeah. I'm scared of dog. <laughs> there is a dog. Anyways, I'm going there now. And from there, <laughs> and from there, I will go to school. Yeah, so I'm going to the bus stop. Almost at the bus stop. There's a dog. I'll be the person that was walking the dog. And the dog stopped. So thank you, Jenny. I don't know. But, well, anyways, I look. Me at least my jacket, this jacket that's so fat. But we move. Yeah, so nice to now run to the bus station. Really nice <laughs> because I'm always running here, and sometimes after running, I miss the um, bus. But today I came early and. Ooh. Hey guys, I'm here at. Um, the babysitting place like me here and yeah so far i just i got here like 30 minutes ago um the children are sleeping and yeah i'm still resting <laughs> until they wake up i'm not gonna be here for a long time i'm just staying with them for like a few hours today and that's my first <laughs> job i mean it's not like an actual actual job but it's, it's still something you know and um, i'm happy that i got it i got it through my friend i'm so grateful to my friend um Bukola. she has just been so amazing <laughs> and nice to me so happy that i met her it's so weird like how i met her is very very interesting <laughs> you know i met her online funny enough i met her online and yeah she told me i can stay till i get my own space and also now she got me this it's just so beautiful and i hope that i can do it for somebody one day as well because it's not very easy to get um soft landing to get like a soft landing here in canada it can be it can be quite harsh you know like you coming and you're spending a lot of money um, on Airbnb or hotels and eating out and all those things. So it can be quite expensive. So if you have like family or friends or anybody that can help you, you don't know how lucky you are. So yeah, so grateful that I have the opportunity, you know, and I don't take it for granted. And hopefully one day, I will be able to do it for somebody you know and yeah um, I did not bring my laptop today you know, I've just I'm just so scared yeah regarding my laptop I you know I told you guys that I wanted to take it to um, the repair shop I took it there yesterday and they told me that they can fix it because uh, my laptop model they don't really sell the screen they have like limited screens or something like that that i have to uh, so you can even even the repairer or engineer <laughs> cannot um even order the screen for me so i have to take it to hp you know and hp is not in Sudbury, so it's in toronto so i can't even go to toronto it's like four hours um drive so i can't even go there but it was like i can continue using the um laptop that's not going to that's not going to fall apart or anything like that so um yeah but i'm going to use the account i i contacted the hp store actually yesterday when i got back contacted them and they said that they don't have it in stock and they don't even know when they're going to have it but they also redirected me to like a couple of resellers 
and yeah, I sent them an email. I've not gotten anything. I've gotten, uh, yeah, I've gotten from somebody, like from a particular company, and the person said they don't have. So I don't know the hope for my laptop. Um, I noticed that the more I close it, the more um, the crack, and uh, the repair guy, oh man, <laughs> in this case, was like, uh, when it gets to the end, like when it cracks to the end of the screen, that is going to stop but I, I should not like pay too much attention i mean i'm going to pay too much attention i spent money on that laptop and i'm going to use it for school and work so yeah i don't want it to get bad like when i got here it started having like battery problem but now i feel like that battery thing is already over here team pay dear dear it's already working again so probably it's the code i don't know but I don't even have one to be thinking of buying a new laptop right now. And yeah. I mean, I was just in cold outside. <laughs> Nobody taught me to wear my jacket very well and button up. When cold, slap my head. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, regarding the stuff, I think I should be able to still go to, to get the keys today. And... I don't know if I'm going to buy anything because I don't know when I'm leaving here. Hey guys, I want to go to Walmart now and uh, check what they have and get some things that I need to take to the house. I missed the first bus because I was going, I stayed at the wrong bus stop. I was so angry, so yeah. I want to get sheets. I'm um, seeing eighteen dollars, eighteen point eighty-eight dollars. I don't know which one to get. And comforter as well. I'm seeing different ones. So more. Everything just doing me. Come, 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 come. I've got in my plates and spoon and all of them. I saw uh, this thing, but I don't know which one. I don't know if it's the thirty-eight dollar one or is it fifty-seven dollar. I'm confused. I don't know what to ask. Um, blender. Hey guys, um, I 
just got to the place and it's like this is a mini um setup they have like a mini kitchen here you have storage microwave i think it's kind of dirty and there's a storage up there's a full fridge the full fridge is empty then storage as well so this is how the kitchen this thing looks like and there is a table and chair for you to sit that's the door and this is the toilet <laughs> When you come in, um, you see the bed, and there is a place for storage here where you can keep your clothes and everything. You need to get hangers as well. They did not provide pillow, so I need to get pillow. I love pillows. So yeah, this is a double-sized bed. There's storage here. This is the heating thing. There's storage here as well. Then there is a table where you can sit and chair. The things I got from Walmart. I got this bed sheet, but I don't know. I think I'm going to return it because I got a I I got a queen size um, bed um, sheet. I don't know who I thought was living here, and I got plate and um, cup and. A knife, then we go much back. So, yeah, basically, that is what I got. I have not moved in like completely. I'll try and bring in my things tomorrow or buy some things here as well. I like it to be honest. I want to just charge my phone a little bit. Then, do you know what happened to me? Let me just you guys, do you know what happened to me today? I uh, I was starting at the wrong bus stop after I left Walmart. I saw, I saw like bus stations to be honest with you, and I checked the map and it was like, oh, the bus is there's going to be another bus or something like that, bus delayed, whatnot. And I was thinking that oh, everybody was there, a lot of people were at the bus station, different buses were coming, and I was waiting for my bus. I did not see my bus it's two times. I saw like one a particular line came like almost four or five times, met me there, I stayed in that place for like more than thirty minutes waiting for my post until I had to ask somebody that please are you going to school and the person was like oh it's at the other side and I'm like I've been sitting here thinking that I'm alright <laughs> then I was there so I just I took I went then I got the bus immediately actually I was so lucky and yeah I'm here I want to charge my phone oh, my battery is low and now I'll head back home and go and eat and sleep. Okay. Hey guys, I'm leaving the residence now. I don't know how I got lost. I mean, I've suffered today, Shabba. It's part of the <laughs> experience. I want to catch the bus now and just be going home. And I'm not even wearing like a thick clothes. You saw me this morning. It's my chest too, too, too. Not knowing that I'm going to be outside for this long. So, go there, go there. See where I have to go and pass. See where I'm supposed to pass. I'm not sure I look like. I'm so, I'm so tired. This is almost 8 p.m. I left the house since 10, actually. Almost 8 p.m. It's still bright outside, but it's almost 8 p.m. This is 7.46. So, yeah, just got down from the bus. I'm going home. I'm famished. I need to eat. <laughs> but, yeah. <sighs>